यत्र तन्नाम पंकजम ददृशो तत्र तेरम्याम अलकाम नाम वैपुरे सौगंधिकम चापि यत् सौगं वनम सौगंधिकम चापि यत्र तन्नाम पंकजम लेडीज ददृश स्तत्र तेरम अलकानाइम वैपुरे वनम सौगंधिकम चापि यत्रतम नाम पं ददृश स्तत्र तेरम अलकाम नाम वैपुरी वनम सौगंधिकम चापि यत्र तन्नाम पंकजम ददृशु सा तत्र देर तत्र इज़ आल्सो दिस अनदर वर्ड फॉर सांस्कृत तत्र विच इज़ ताई so you can see there is a resemblance in english there thais tatra te de exactly same words can you see exactly same words ramyam very attractive alakam nama oh sorry alaka nama known as so nama in english why indeed purim abode if you heard like cities like singapore the puri comes in there singapore pur and then it grows into um, greeks with polis so ra becomes la like praharada prahalada ra and la are interchangeable praharada prahalada so when it goes to greek and europe it becomes polis metropolis so all the words you see cosmopolitan comes from that word puri and even the word police comes with that pala people that are protecting so the word police in english is from sanskrit did you know that vanam forest saugandhikam saugandhika cha api oh sorry and api even yatra in which place tan nama known by that name pankajam species of lotus flowers thus the demigods uh, we can do call and response thus the demigod saw the wonderfully beautiful region known as alaka do you want to repeat in the forest known as saugandhika which means full of fragrance the forest is known as saugandhika because of its abundance of lotus flower 
ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ್ ತಿಮಿರಂಧಸ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನ ಶಲಾಖೆಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರ್ಮಿತ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ವಂದೇ ನಂದ ವ್ರಜಸ್ತ್ರೀನ ಪಾದರೇನು ಅವೀಕ್ಷಣಶ ಯಾಸಾಂ ಹರಿಕಥೋದ್ಗೀತ ಪುನಾತಿ ಭುವನತ್ರಯ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಪಟ್ ಬಶಲ ಪ್ರಪಾತ್ ಕೀ ಜಾಯ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಅಲಕ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಲಕಪುರಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕುವೆರ ಕುವೆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಅ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಹೌ ಎವರ್ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಸೀನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕೈಲಾಸ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ರೀಜನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲಕ ರಿಫರ್ ಟು ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಅಲಕಪುರಿ ಆಫ್ ಕುವೆರ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ವೀರ ರಾಘವಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಅಲಕ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ಕಾಮನ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೀಜನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲಕ ದ ಡೆಮಿಗಾಟ್ ಸಾ ದಿಸ್ ಅ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೌಗಂಧಿಕ that distributes an especially fragrant scent so uh we are uh, going through the part of bhagavatam which is an aftermath of the daksha yagna so you may have you may have read through the and or attended or pursued the classes previously and it was a horrible situation so um maitreya muni yeah maitreya muni is talking to vidra and he's trying to explain the aftermath of what happened after daksha yagna so shiva had finished uh, in in his virabhadra form lord shiva had finished like there were some heads rolling there's some hands rolling there's some shoulders rolling there's some teeth rolling like this they all all sorts of people were getting all kinds of surgi- surgical operations going on there so now it's the aftermath because there it's important to show how devotees deal with after a horrible incident we don't like we, we may have problems in devotional service with our friends close friends sometimes we have problems but we don't hold grudges for like you know 20 years 30 years 40 years <laughs> <laughs> we have, we have to get over it if there is an opportunity like i'm not saying you try to go out of your way and you know hug everybody but if there was a little problem which is bound to happen we have to find a way an excuse if there is an excuse that presents itself we should be able to say okay yeah forgotten that's fine four years ago in janmashtami when i cooked the pot of kichdi i wanted to put it on the mat of kusha grass but you put it on the mat of wooden table and this is like that was in now 2008 and this is 2024 how dare you use the wooden you know in front of my kusha grass mat like that was in 2008 and this is like 2024 prabhu ji <laughs> <laughs> even the kusha grass is soiled up now <laughs> like the, people don't even use kusha grass anymore <laughs> what's the big deal like i'm not saying we don't get hurt yes of course we get hurt of course there are pro- of course we have hearts but don't just go on for like you know decades and decades i know people like 25 years 25 years ago and i'm like okay bring the violin out <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> let's bring the violins and let's play the song <laughs> so we should be able to find an opportunity so lord shiva is fine like brahma is going to find an opportunity to just things together but the point i wanted to actually talk is now all the brahma the demigods headed by brahma are going to brahma are going to kailas this is last 10 12 verses is beautiful 20 actually to nearly 20 verses is beautiful descriptions of kailas right but you actually go to now kailas in himalayas where is the saugandhika where is the alaka where is the what are the verses before uh, what are the rivers two rivers there's two rivers wasn't it uh, nanda nanda adya nanda sunanda there were rivers ganges where are those twin lakes where are those saugandhika flowers when you go to the kailasa now i mean you are very lucky if you come back with without broken bones i mean come on you guys know you are from nepal like do you think it's a joke going to kailas and amarnath and kedarnath badrinath do you seriously is it a joke no don't play games there 
you were like half inch away from a crucial brown cacking death so how do you reconcile like how do you reconcile these beautiful explanations of kalas like even talk about the moon expeditions right people go to moon i mean i'm not going to go into if they actually went and not no no i'm not going to start that dispute now what i'm trying to say is we know that people like spacemen are going to certain planets or martians god knows what those photographs are about but we get photos from moon and mars and all that and they come back and report that there's nothing going on there there's no saugandhika <laughs> there's no alaka there's no nanda sunanda rivers flowing there how do you how do you reconcile these things ever thought about these things i give you little couple of examples to understand this yeah in my personal life i'll give you a couple of examples sataputa prabhu anybody know sataputa prabhu sataputa prabhu is one of our famous scientists in isko he's uh, passed away now so he wrote couple of beautiful books one is uh, vedic many books he wrote but couple of them i really got attracted was one of them was vedic astronomy in the vedic astronomy he explains how to understand these dimensions and different in you know, a fifth canto anybody read fifth canto how was it <coughs> huh that's you do how do you understand the dimensions just read through it yeah just go through it just like you know when they give vaccination just we'll do it as painlessly as possible <laughs> so how do you understand all that okay i'll give you two examples to understand it is it okay yeah you want to hear a couple of my personal examples so when i came to sydney uh oh god i'm dating myself now 25 years maybe yeah 25 years ago before the olympics sydney olympics so one of my friends said um i we were all we wouldn't go and buy brand new books just go and uh, uh find used books in the college university there used to be all the list of people who had like previous books and we could find their numbers and we'd go and um uh, we find their addresses somehow text them find their address and we go and we get the used books if the new book is 80 bucks the used book we'd get for 20 bucks you know students you know bargain so one day one of these guys said ah you have to come to i don't know 150 george street in i don't know where it was i don't know city okay let's put 150 george street city just a rough example okay i said yeah i'll go there i went there to the 150 george street i'm going peter west peter i couldn't find peter i couldn't find peter and i was on the way back and i'm going back to my flat i had a little flat whatever where i was living i thought oh maybe i should call peter why didn't he show up and i called peter and i said hey pete i came to 150 george street as you instructed me but you were not there and he said you dumbie what happened i'm on the 27th floor ah okay so this time be smart <laughs> go to the reception and ask you to open the doors and give you a pass for 27th floor ah okay so then i went to the reception i security guys they gave me a pass then i go to 27th floor knock the door bingo peter there so we go to this do are you starting to get where i'm going to the dimensions are different we may get the address of 150 george street but when you go there we don't understand this 45 dimensions of that 150 george street 45 multi stories that building is 45 stories and my peter lives somewhere middle 27 and there is like 12 flats in each floor and 45 floors so 45 multiplied by 12 who are who's good at mathematics do the maths 590 bingo no 540 sorry bit rusty 540 so this 540 dimensions to that 150 george street you understand what i'm trying to say so you may see the moon we may see the moon from here we may see this particular graha from here 
we may see the kailasa from here little icon of kailasa in here but we don't see how many dimensions there are to that kailasa how many dimensions there are to the moon how many dimensions we are going to the this front view street and we saying i couldn't find peter we going to the moon and say oh i couldn't see chandra demigod there well do you know which part like what dimensions there are to this world do we know if earth planet on in the city in sydney city what are we like 12 minutes away from george street i couldn't figure out like there are 40 540 dimensions to 150 george street so how can we just simply sit here and say oh i went to kailasa but i couldn't see lord shiva there like, where was the tandav <laughs> so so much going on on this planet and this universe in this cosmos where the cosmos then what meets our eye you understand what i'm trying to say one day one of the atheists gave me asked me a question we were out having a talk and he said what what the heck do you even mean by spiritual what the heck do you even mean by this spiritual this word spiritual we just get sick of this you know cliche you understand cliche they just overused you know a uh, hackneyed phrase like overused hackneyed phrase cliche spiritual 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 christian spiritual muslim spiritual hindu spiritual hari krishna ah spiritual what is spiritual i said okay i'll tell you what spiritual is in simple words spiritual is to accepting that there is much more to this planet than what meets our eye to become humble enough to understand that there is much more to understand there much more to see there much more to know there much more to comprehend than what meets our daily senses that's spiritual just put it simply without going into deep you know rupa goswami is lagu bhagamrita or jiva goswami shat sandarbhas just simple so there's so much more going on to this planet to this universe then what meets our eye this say vyasadeva is still in badrinath right you want to go and try find it no you mean you can go with all the search parties military search parties helicopters you want you won't see him but he is there he is there why do we don't we see the reese why don't we see him just like i couldn't find peter on 150 george street different dimensions my you know so humble we have to have some humbleness to understand that there is so much more to this universe than what meets our eyes what meets our senses but that needs humility that needs to be humble who wants to be humble oh humble oh god he said that again <laughs> humble you know that's another cliche hackneyed overused humble uh, hare hare krishna humble 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 <laughs> did you again say humble squeeze <laughs> you but we need like to be able to get knowledge to be able to understand we first need to be a little humble you you understand what i'm trying to say so another example i'll give you i came that was my first night in sydney and i was i had friends who was already taking me with their on the jobs and they kept saying like go through delhi go through delhi i'm saying i just caught a flight to sydney why do you keep saying go through delhi i just came there 10 o'clock in the morning and everybody is saying all you need to do is when you get off the road there m2 you just need to get off to and go through delhi going i said one of the guys i said stop what what is going on with delhi oh 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 sorry there's a delhi road that comes off the m2 so you got to get off and go through the delhi road so you you got to get off m2 and you go through delhi road and you go to chatswood that's how it god you scared the crap out of me i thought you're going to take me to delhi again <laughs> i don't want to go back to delhi 
So I didn't understand. So you get like the, you are in Sydney, but you get a glimpse of Delhi here too with the name. Even when I go at my home, in the in the afternoons, I, I like this. I like to go for long walks and I chant Gita. I just love it. It's been, it, it just I like I just like the time. And I'm walking through the ponds and the ones, and there is Ludhiana Parade, and there's Amritsar Avenue, and there's a Beijing crossways and I'm going what's going on like Beijing, Ludhiana, Amritsar it's like you're back in home mate but you're not back at home you understand so there's no need to worry that when you go to Kailas you don't see like Shiv, Shivji doing Tandav there or where is Ganapati I thought Durga was supposed to be here no don't don't be like that we have no idea we just got to the reception there's so much more going on to what meets the eye. You go to Kurukshetra, you go to Brindavan. Okay, we, okay. I know even now, they, do you know that, Edward? Like people go to this uh, one, it's, uh, what is that one? Nidivan, yeah, right, very good. Thank you, thank you. Nidivan, and they're like, in the night if you stay here, you'll start seeing Radha Krishna dances. Like, come on, guys. Why are you serious? <laughs> we'll give us like 500 bucks and we'll put some offerings on your behalf on that in the little room and there's a, like a sofa and some beds and all that will put you off and I said get out of here <laughs> as if you know, what we get access to is very limited and that depends on our uh, that depends on of our sincerity that depends on our sincerity how much access we get to Yamuna how much access we get to Kailas how much access we get to Alaka here there's a little in the purport there's a little talk about how Vira Raghavacharya thinks the alaka described here is not the alaka of Kuvera, it's a different alaka. Like the Delhi road in Sydney is not the same Delhi road of the India. And the names also differ. Like for example, my city that I come from, Hyderabad, its old name is Bhagyanagar. Sometimes when I talk to my friends and I say, uh, can we all meet back at Bhagyanagar? And they're like, oh, yeah, oh yeah. Hyderabad, yeah, Hyderabad. So the names differ, the geographies are differing, the dimensions are differing. So we don't need to take such a gripe on this word, on these concepts and think, oh, okay, I can't understand, so is this Shastra true? Like is it some made up things? Or no, you need to be humble. You understand where I'm going? Do you understand what I'm trying to explain? So there are different names, there are different dimensions, that we need to take it easy. Yeah, happy? Happy with that? So, fifth canto, next time you go to fifth canto, think about this. Yeah, watch this verse, what is this? 28th of March, 2024. Remember, remember this class and just do the first 10 minutes and you'll understand when you're going through fifth canto, think like this. It will be much easier to go through fifth canto. I know for sure thousands and thousands and thousands of devotees have a strong gripe against the fifth canto. Because how the heck can you understand those things? Moon is only, moon is before the sun, um, sun is before the moon, you know. F f but our astronomy is saying, the, no, the sun is like 93 millions and moon is 250,000 Ks, miles. So, but Vedas and even Egypt, not just Vedas and Indians, I swear, Egyptians, Mayans, Greek mythologies, Ptolemies from Alexandria University, from Alexandria, the city named after Alexander. Every university, like ancient, sun is always prior to moon. And definitely confirm that sun is closer. But we, our astronomies, are saying sun is farther than moon. But again, we need to, how do you understand? We need to be calm, we need to see the dimensions. Yeah? There's so much more I can talk on this, like, oh my God, I can go on astronomy for hours and hours. Let's move on. I'm supposed to do three verses. yeah. But next time, some other time, remind me to how to understand how, why does the... I can, I can go on for a little bit and explain to you why our astronomy, the modern astronomy differs so much with the Vedic astronomy. Why it is apparently differs so much. I can explain to you very detailedly and um, I can go through and hopefully that will open up more windows. But there are... There are ways to explain all these things.
concrete tangible ways to comprehend all these things are you okay or did i completely lose you yeah you good okay next one we don't need to do sanskrit right can i just read the translation you happy with that okay they also saw the two rivers named nanda and alakananda alakananda is the name of um, ganga in the higher planetary systems in middle planetary systems the name of ganga is ganga in the higher planetary systems is alakananda and in the lower planetary systems anybody knows ha huh? very good so in the lower planetary systems it's So in the lower planetary systems it's Bhogavati in the middle planetary systems we call Ganga in higher higher planetary systems it's Alakananda So here they're talking about two lakes um lotus feet per, uh, the the dust by which was sanctified by the dust of the lotus feet of the supreme personality of God This obviously is talking about the Vamana incarnation who is also called trivikrama or who is also called urukrama urukrama uru is great krama is steps simple three is again three steps and krama is steps who covered the whole planet plural universe with his three steps so when he was trying to put the third step second step sorry um oops kind of pushed the envelope there and it pierced a little hole and the alakananda and the viraja river from the higher dimensions comes down to the lower dimensions because it's a, a very a very very important that ganga comes here like for example if someone takes someone finds a cure for covid i don't know somewhere i don't know Cy- pfizer or someone from pfizer is it, is it uh, switzerland was it from swiss yes yeah, swiss swiss i think if they find something they distribute throughout the whole planet so you find this purifying sanctified like ointment water antiseptic water what do you do you pierce a little hole and just make sure everybody gets it and it's not like vishnu just oversteps and thinks oops sorry uh. no it's not like that it's deliberate so if you find a pfizer you make sure everybody gets it i got a shot i come and tell to chandra and chandra the prabhu 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 you know this is going on this covid going on some you know what have we now 500 variations now <laughs> this new variation and this new could you you go get a shot so vishnu gave a little shot so that the ganga comes down and said ah sorry <laughs> little shot and ganga comes down and this is important jokes aside this is important The oldest ever book known on this planet is Rigveda. This is confirmed by all the uh, all the scholars western and eastern. It's confirmed. Nobody can date Rigveda's Max Muller um Sir Wilson who were the Oxford chairs during 1950s when 1940s when in, before 1940s when India was occupied by the East India Company colonies. even all these monier williams everybody tried to date the different scriptures in the planet and it was confirmed by the rigveda has to be the oldest not just because it's sanskrit but just even the sanskrit there are different um v- ways to write for example when you see shakespeare's english and you see charles dickens english from the tale of two cities okay the english is different and you can immediately say shakespeare's is older than charles dickens can you easy right you write, you read charles um, dan brown's novel and you read charles dickens or jane austen pride and prejudice ooh i love pride and prejudice so you can tell right by the language you can tell one is older than the other so even though all these are sanskrit literature scholars are able to tell that rigveda belongs to a completely transcendental category So even scholars have agreed and put the peg you know putting the peg your foot down and put the peg and saying rigveda has to be the oldest in rigveda vishnu is addressed as trivikrama urukrama 
and the stories of rigveda is like this agar manthan you can find these stories i was i was doing a balimara story somewhere recently and i was uh, going through the sagar manthan you know the churning of the ocean churning of the ocean is not like um, you know we don't have monopoly on it hari krishnas don't have monopoly on it that story has been told by the mayans by the egyptians by the balantines by the babylonians by the greek for ages one side on the gods one side angels and one side the demons that's how they do it one side the angels one side the demons there is some dangerous serpent and this going through you will find the pictures of these in caves of mesopotamia in caves somewhere in peru some mayan civilization caves some greek temples if you think i am blowing smoke around the temple read satapudas prabhu's book you he actually printed those pictures from some caves that he saw so we don't have monopoly on this so these stories have been told for eons and the names that are used in rigveda are the names trivikrama urukrama uttama shloka all the names of krishna so am i am i helping you to bring things like this ancient things into perspective to our current because it's very important to bring all these things in into our perspective this is where we lose our children anybody anybody have children here anybody have children okay anyway so i have two daughters oh that mata ji has you have children yeah t2 oh sorry kitu kitu yeah my name was t2 when i was young <laughs> so <laughs> so you have kid to so it this is where we lose our children because what happens is children grow up with us by hearting bhagavad gita you know manmana bhava mag dhakto madhya jima namaskuru maam eva and then all of a sudden they go to these schools they go to these universities and boom reality hits the social thing hits them and imagine can you imagine they going to their uh, the girls and the boys are going to their children and going um ishwara parama krishna sachidananda vigraha and they going the friends are going oh, excuse me see we need to help this is where we lose our children the reason we lose our next generation we losing our children is because we are not able to build a bridge to this sublime ancient world and our current world it's like for them when they go to schools and universities it's like they in our house they see one world am i correct and they go to the universities and they see what they're like shocked the like what are, what our parents been te- what, what's going on in the temple what goes on in the temple there i'm serious they don't understand so this is where we losing our children we have to find a way to to connect and show the bridge how these ancient this is not so ancient it's not absolutely ancient these are just coming into our lives in different phases we just need the eyes that vidhi pranipate na pari gnani na tatva darshibi give yourself the eyes to see the gyana to see this ancient knowledge it's just not by hearting it's a vision you see this knowledge you don't just talk this knowledge you don't just hear this you see this knowledge that's why it says tadvidhi pranipatena pariprashna na seva upadekshanti te gyanam gyanena tatva darshibi darshibi seeing not just reading and talk you start to see this you start to see the kailas you start to see the brindavan you understand you start to see this all these things then your then the children can get it straight away like i was talking with mahatma recently mahatma prabhu was here maybe some of you have attended his classes we were having a lunch hour talk and um, not this time maybe last year last year we were having a lunch hour talk and i like to sit next to him and easy i like not just mahatma prabhu any guest that comes to my house when they're having a lunch i like to sit next to him it's not like you know you have your lunch mate i got other things to do <laughs> i like to sit with them and talk 
So I did with that ma I was maybe last year I think. He was here and he he was saying to me that people tell he, people just come to him and say you are so fortunate because your daughter is a saint. He keeps getting that all the time. But they don't see and he he said to me they don't see how hard I have worked off off air. How hard I have worked with her, how much time I spent with her to bring this ancient world into the current vision. How hard they they try he tried. How hard we have to try with our children. I spend a lot of time with my daughter. I spend a lot of time with her. I walked with her with miles and miles and miles and miles. Miles and miles. Saturday we used to walk like maybe easy 8 miles. Talk, bring things into vision, bring things into current perspective to the children. Because remember, what am I now? 46 now, 46. Yeah, coming close to half century, 50. Time to raise the bat <laughs> on the pitch. So <laughs> you know they do that at 50 in the cricket so any <laughs> so i'm coming very unless i get bold <laughs> before before at 49 or something but 40 i'm coming 50 right time to raise the bat so we've been in this for long enough right we've seen the cycles it's very hard for children so we have to spend time with our children we have to bring this current world this ancient worlds into current pictures current level and then they see easily she goes to a convent school bible 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 no problem she comes home she's like i'm fine why i can see when they tell me moses story and when they tell me joseph story where the joseph was deceived by the 12 brothers well easy Rushabdev was deceived by his brothers. Prashruddha, ninth canto, he was deceived by his brothers. So Joseph was deceived by his brothers. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's a cycle. It happens everywhere. Oh, I said, wow, <laughs> it's, like, it's a big deal. Okay, well, so they are teaching me Bible. So what? I'll pick the good ones, and if that doesn't say anything, doesn't make sense, I'll just park it. Don't need to criticize. Don't need to make a big deal about it. Okay, they tell me that moon is two hundred and fifty miles and sun is two hundred and two hundred and fifty thousand miles and sun is ninety three miles. All right, I don't need to go and debate with the teacher. Our Sri Mad Bhagavatam says, you know, Shukla Maharshi says it's eight hundred. What is eight hundred yojanas? Yeah, thousand yojanas. Sorry, thousand yojanas and moon is like you know. Ten times farther than sun, and I don't need to go and debate with the teacher. It's simple. Just park the thing and say maybe there's more to it. I wonder if there's more to the story. And then she's like, Ah, okay. Now she's happy to go to books with me. She's happy to engage in conversations. And now I, I now when I go to books, I'm just sitting on the, seriously. I'm just sitting on the chair. You'd see. You see me. I'm just sitting on the chair. They're doing it. I just like you know, you know, like that Marwadi in India, like sit in the chair and collect money. <laughs> They're doing it. So we have to empower our children. Please understand. Please understand. You don't. You may not have children, but you have your friends who are younger than me, younger than you, right? You have your you have your devotees. Um, um, Behind Chandra Chandra Prabhu, I keep forgetting. Sorry, Chitta Hari Das Prabhu, Chitta Hari Das Prabhu. You you have younger devotees that are that are obviously getting guidance from you, right? They are like your children, isn't it? Of course. If there's younger people, say someone, do, do they someone call you uncle? There's people in your family that call you uncle. Yeah. So they're like your children. So what's all your prema? so you we can we everybody are we have dependents you don't have to have biological children you know from the rati or something even if you have some people depending on you you can help them to see things in our perspective then all of a sudden bhagavatam you like wow you reading every day you're like 
wow it's like wow it's like you're having this wow moments every minute someone asked me i was on books the lane i was at lane co on saturday the lady asked me what do you do, what what do people do like monks she said to me what is the advantage what is the benefit of being a monk how long have you been i said well i used to be a monk in a different tradition but um i don't know i spent like 8 or 10 years there and then i came to i was in hari krishnas and then i ran away because um it was too much for me this is before before the olympics anyway and then i came back again after dealing with a few you know impersonal things and all this mayavadi brahmacharis and all that i came back and then anyway why am i telling the story oh the lady so she was asking me so what do you do as a monk i said this is the benefit of a monk you get up every morning you have like 18 hours in front of you like 16 hours I don't want to scare you and 16 hours every hour you going wow you going wow you read bhagavad gita and you go wow you chant a few rounds and you go, wow that was so cool you read gita and, wow that was so cool and then finally after everything you just thought oh my god i just had enough and then the prasadam comes out is like wow is <laughs> like wow i can't wait for the kitchen it's amazing isn't it and it's like i said to can you believe like 16 hours of wow factors every day and you should have seen her face she was like can i get this book and what do you mean by prasad so i gave her the higher taste to show how to do prasad and i gave her the chant and be happy to i always make a mark in those books so that they can get to the chanting techniques and then next time i said next time i meet you i want you to at least three times go wow for the bhagavad gita wow for the chanting wow for the prasad and she was like yes and she calls her boyfriend hey come listen listen to him and the boyfriend is like <laughs> anyway so we can we can fill our children's lives with wow we can chill out fill our students lives in wow you understand what i'm trying to say so we don't have much time i was supposed to do 25 okay see how i go i'll just skim this through cuz um whatever you paid for i want you to get your money's worth no refunds so my dear kshatta uh, my dear kshatta Vidura the celestial damsels come down to those rivers in their airplanes with their husbands and after sexual enjoyment they enter the water and enjoy sprinkling their husbands with water so propadi is saying there are two words that are very important rati karshati hmm rati karshati means the damsels become moros after sexual enjoyment as you know i have a little bit of love for sanskrit language i used to when i was um, 14 years old i used to ride my bike 8 kilometers to go to a sanskrit teacher who was living in a forest out in the bush from where my town was and i had this i had like immediate like for, uh, you know this they say love at first sight i fell in love with sanskrit it was like my love at first sight i don't know why something happened to me when i read sanskrit and i took sanskrit as my um electives in my secondary school then i took sanskrit in my graduation then i took sanskrit in my later years i have some love for sanskrit so i looked up this karshati word in sanskrit dictionary propad says moros um it also in sanskrit dictionary of course says moros but also says weekend so weekend moros because they're weekend by their sexual activities so all these damsels in this kailasa valleys of kailasa these demigods are coming but they have this very intense because their vigor is higher not our human bodies their bodies are made of you know we are solid right you go to the higher planets the more higher you are going the subtler your bodies are getting did you know that like the more you are going higher the solid of the body is de- decreasing and it said the mind the body of brahma is made of intelligence there's no gross anything gross like the higher you are going so they are vigorous much more but after the sexual activities they are weakened and this is what it is important to understand with the whole sex thing before getting into engrossed and trying to control 
sex and you know oh, calling all the people that are like opposite genders or these days even same genders <laughs> attracting you the thing that you need to understand please understand this point it takes a long time yeah i'm giving you a pearl please understand the sexual enjoyment that the humans or the demigods whoever are looking for is actually a preliminary enjoyment we already had in relation with krishna in the absence of that in the absence of that link with krishna in the absence of that attraction that attractive reciprocation with krishna in the absence of that because the atma is always ananda yeah anandamay abhyasa so atma is always ananda because atma has to, if in the absence that she can't find the link with krishna then what do we have to do in bodies we have to go find sex we are missing that in our even we're missing that rasa with krishna so what do we have to do we have to see that beauty in the opposite gender male has to see beauty in the female and female has to see that toughness in the man or the man has to see that sensitivity sensitivity that softness in the woman why because we derive this ananda andamayo abhyasa you know ananda in krishna in the absence of that we have to take a bad bargain we have to replace it with something else and the only thing that's immediately available is sex and we it's like running out of patience okay meeting krishna and reestablishing okay i don't know when we're going to have that that's too far so you know what <clears throat> we'll just do it you you understand what i'm trying to say it's like impatience i okay when is the ride going to come you know when you're in the water parks right the ride is 45 minutes okay the ride is 45 wait the queue is 45 minutes ride ah couldn't be buggered i jump in that pool man <laughs> don't we do that in the water parks when we go water bombs and all the things the ride is 45 minutes queue and the girls are getting impatient my daughters they're getting impatient dad when are we going to get to the ride dad when are we going to get to the kid 40 minutes she already told us ah you know what bugger it there's a pool there you just jump in the pool if you just waited and, and then boom the queue cleared and everybody is good the people that were behind them are coming out of, coming down the rides and i'm saying kids patience we just need to maintain some patience with this sex thing just tell yourself just tell yourself i know it's hard i know this is driving me i know i'm in the body i know the body will push me and this no this don't fight the body what you have to fight is i need to have patience for my higher pleasure please just just think like that don't don't go calling ladies maya don't no don't stop let's stop that don't do that all you need to say is we're being replaced we're replacing something else by a by, by a much much subtler and pure and enjoyment which we had previously obtained which we had a previous acquaintance with i'm just trying to just quickly do that here so when the twitch comes just say patience brother just tap yourself on the shoulder and say patience just wait another 6 hours 5 hours 3 hours just one hour maybe your mood will change maybe it becomes a past thing so that's maybe one of my tips to to just kind of get a hang of this sexual thing is that helpful okay so uh what else is propat saying 25 right moving along moving right along so another significant point is that lord govinda the supreme personality of god it is described he is a tirtha pada so i have already spoken about that yeah tirtha pada um because three steps remember tirtha pada so pada means the lotus feet of the lord people go to sanctified places to free themselves um because uh, free themselves i'm getting rusty from all sinful reactions in other words those who are devoted to the lotus feet of the supreme personality of god it 
automatically become sanctified. The lotus feet are called Tirtapada because they are the protection. Hundreds and thousands of saintly persons have already taken this. Narutam Das Thakur says in Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya, advises us not to travel to different places of pilgrimage. You know, just wantonly going to, bas karna hai to karna hai. Chardam karna hai, niche vaha jana hai, yaha jana, you know. Got to go to the Chardam, Himalayas, Dwaraka, this, that, that. I got to cover. It's my, it's like, it's like, you know, theka leke rakha hai. You know, like, I've taken a contract to just do the all the pilgrim. No, just choose one or two and just sit there and chant Hare Krishna. Mayapur and Vrindavan are quite sufficient. Okay, we have no contract. 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 Take a means contract. So we don't, we haven't taken a contract of, you know, going all the, you know, Jerusalem and Brindavan and this and that and Makkah and, you know, I have to do like every pilgrimage, Himalayas, like, don't, you have, we haven't taken the contract, right? We haven't monopolized. Do you remember the monopoly? Like I've taken this city now. I'm taking this city now. I've taken this city now. It's not like a monopoly game. This Brindavan Mayapur is quite sufficient. Good spots, yeah? Okay, I'll just finish this now. I, th I know we're running out of time. Just quickly finish this, last point. We don't need to travel to different um, pilgrimages for we can enjoy everything here. Uh, such a pure devotee who has implicit faith in the lotus feet of the Lord can create sacred vanti tirthani, the uh, tirthi kurvanti tirthani. The places are sacri sac sanctified due to the presence of pure devotees. Any place automatically becomes a place of pilgrimage if either the Lord or His pure devotees remain. Mm. Okay, so Prabhupada is trying to say that we can make a pilgrimage wherever we are. We are sitting in a pilgrimage right now. We are sitting in Dwaraka, we are sitting in Vrindavan, we are sitting in Mayapur right now. It's just a matter of realizing. Um, my dear sister here, Rani, will... I think sec uh, support me with this. Do, what do you feel when you come here? Do you feel any lackage, any shortage of being any pilgrimage? See, here my sister, she's given me a green flag. Did I get a green light from you? Yes. Do you feel any, any difference? I don't. I swear, I promise you. When I come here, I don't feel any difference between Vrindavan, Dwaraka or Mayapur. Just is absolutely fine and content here. We don't need to do that. We can also do this in our personal lives. This was the point I want to make. So there is a very nice verse by, just one last verse. There is a very nice verse by Prabhodhanan Saraswati. Was it Prabhodhanan Saraswati? Uh, Kaivalyam Narakayate. It is, it is, isn't it? Prabhudharan Saraswati. Yeah, yeah. Prad or Baladev Vidya Bhushan. One of them. Prabhudharan Saraswati maybe. Anyway, I'm rusty. Please excuse me. So, Kaivalyam Narakayate, Tidashapuram Akasham Pushpayate. He says, Kaivalyam Narakayate. Very important. Please listen to this. Last point. Kaivalyam Narakayate. He's saying the so-called salvation. So-called salvation. You heard of salvation, right? So-called salvation. He says it's like hell to me. Tridashapuram Akasham Pushpayate. The heavens and paradises. Paradise is a Sanskrit word. Paradisha. Paradise. Tridashapuram Akasham Pushpayate. The paradises on the, in the sky, in the ether, are like, you know, vanishing, shooting stars for me. Durdhantendriya Kala Sarpa Patali Prutkata Damshrayate. Even the envious things that I used to see before on this planet, they are like serpents broken with fangs. They are like serpents with broken fangs. Durdhantendriya kala sarpa patali proktat damshrayate vishwampurnam sukhayate The whole universe is full of bliss and I see this as a spiritual world now. Vidhi mahendra adish chakitayate even people like Indra and the big demigods look like little Kitas. You know, little insignificant people for me. Yet karunya kataksha vai bhavatam. 
evam garas evam gaurastuma gaurastuma so he says when i see the mercy of chaitanya mahaprabhu kataksha kataksha means not full mercy kataksha is like the corner of his eye aksha is eye kata is corner so even the corner of his the mercy coming up from the corner of his eyes when it falls on me i see this whole world vishwam purnam sukhayate kaivalyam narakayate salvation is hell tidashapuram aakasham pushpayate heavens are like shooting stars దుర్దాంతేంద్రియ కాల సర్వపటలి ప్రోక్షాతే ద ఎన్వియస్ థింగ్స్ దర్ ఐ యూస్ టు సి బిఫోర్ దే అపియర్ టు మీ లైక్ సర్పెంట్స్ విత్ బ్రోకెన్ ఫ్యాంగ్స్ కాన్ డూ ఎనీథింగ్ సర్పెంట్స్ విత్ బ్రోకెన్ ఫ్యాంగ్స్ నథింగ్ ఏ బై బైట్ నథింగ్ విశ్వం పూర్ణం సుఖాయతే ఇట్ ఫుల్ ఆఫ్ బ్లెస్ పూర్ణ మీన్స్ ఫుల్ దిస్ వర్ల్డ్ ఫీల్స్ టు మీ లైక్ ఫుల్ ఆఫ్ బ్లెస్ విధి మహేంద్రాదిశ్చ కీటాయతే ఈవెన్ బిగ్ డెమిగాడ్స్ లుక్ టు మీ లైక్ significant people why yet karunya kataksha because that that mercy little mercy from the corner of gaura is falling on me for whom to whom that gauram evostuma i bow down to that gaura so we can make this whole vishwam purnam sukhayate how you take up the mission of krishna consciousness all we need to do we were we were born for service we were born to help service is uh, when you say service it's like uh, you know better to reign in hell than serve in heaven right isn't it but isn't that the satan's word in the bible better to reign in better to reign in hell than serve in heaven yeah that's it that's it still got my bible eh huh? so better to reign in heaven than serve in hell Oh, sorry better to reign in hell than serve in heaven so when you hear this word service uh, service uh, but put it another way helping others when you take up this mission of helping others somehow little bit please understand i'm not asking to go you out of your way and wreck your life wreck your work schedules wreck your education schedules no i'm not saying become martyrs and kill yourself in your convenience just little little trickle by trickle trickle by trickle when you take up magic happens in your life doors open that you've never seen before i used to go to one spot for books all the time decades ago this is like 15 years ago 14 years ago maybe 14 okay maybe something like that don't quote me i used to go to one spot you know how many spots i have now just take a guess huh 34 spots i have no idea how they came i have no idea i used to go to one spot you know in the dark tunnels of that museum station just stand with a little billboard and people are thinking who the heck are you uh hare krishna that's it i used to just stand in the tunnel you know you know the station tunnel from the t- and goes to the broadway that little tunnel under the station that's it that's it just every friday go there and stand with my little trolley you know how many i have now 34 spots and i don't have to go for them they chase me the councils chase me they send me reminders how come you haven't been here this year where are you i missed ingelban alive last week couple of weeks ago because mahatma prabhu was here so i missed that i get in where were you we were looking for your books i missed a one stall one time in blue mountains actually they didn't have a stall cuz covid and something and then they rearranged it in lura and they sent to me you missed blue mountains we want you to come to lura i started with one stall 2 hours a week i have 34 stalls and we 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 we, we set up 108 festivals every year something to do with the number huh? 108 
So what I'm trying to say is don't, you don't need to become martyrs. I'm not saying wreck your life, wreck your family lives. What I'm trying to say, you start with one step and whatever happens after that, you have no idea how you're getting carried by this Gaurus mercy. You just, before I knew, I have 34 spots from all the way from Wollongong to Central Coast. 34 spots. I started with one. So I implore you to please look at this planet as a place where you can make some benefit, something you can give in return. Please look at it. This planet is not for us to fist punch it and grab what you can as much as you can. This planet is not to fist punch it and just grab the heck out of it. Please look, when you look at this planet, look at this planet that there is something to give to this planet. When you, when you develop this vision, you automatically get the resources. You automatically, the avenues op automatically open that you never thought about. I never thought about, I never aimed for 34 spots. I just thought I'll just do whatever I can, two hours. Can't I effort two hours in a week? Of course you can. So I went and set up in that Broadway tunnel. That's where I met Saul, by the way. Our friend Saul. He was going like this, like watching me, watching my books, and he was going. And I so you're watching my books? So that's where, and then we used to have nice talks. Theolo he's very good in theology. He knows his theology, that boy. So and we used to have nice theological talks. And then one day I found him jumping with his dhoti here. And I said, Saul. Are you the boy from the tunnel? <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Came back and gave me a big hug. I started there in the tunnel, two hours. Now I have 34 spots. So just take one step. And rest of it, how it happens, leave it to Prabhupada, leave it to Krishna. It just happens. This is beyond logic. I cannot, I cannot give logic. Anyway, 9 o'clock on the dot. Please, if you have any questions... Thank you very much. Did you, was it okay? Did I, did it make sense or did I, come? yes please. Is it? Is it? Yes, 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 there is a bhajan. There is a bhajan. It's in my song book. It's in my song book. I'll take a picture and send it to you. It's in my song book. Um, he says something like, it's another illusion. He said, the translation of English, I remember. He says, going to, like, excessively going to pilgrimages, he says, that's another maya. Like, it's another delusion. That's exactly the word he uses. That's another delusion. They excessively, like, take a leg a Like, I need to go to Chardam, I need to go to Vaishnavadam, I need to go to that, I need to go to that, and hunting in South India, somewhere in the bushes, and... I mean, some devotees do that, no offense to them, I, I don't mean any offense, but if that's your thing, and it's your order from a Gurudev, then that's fine. But like, as if you've taken a contract, like Monopoly game, you know the Monopoly game? I've taken this city now, I've taken this city now. No, not like that. Just trust me, I swear to God. Vrindavan, Mayapur, fantastic places to chant Hare Krishna. Beautiful. And if you're waiting to go there, and in the meantime, what can you do? This ain't so bad. This ain't so bad. Beautiful. I don't, never, never in, the, in my life, I come here, I never one time felt any lesser than Mayapura Brindavan here. Never. You okay, happy? I'll send you the, I'll, I'll find that song. It's, it's in my songbook at home. Happy days? Yeah? So please uh, accept my gratitudes. I'm very thankful you're here and listen to my... You got stuck with me for another hour. <laughs> Good for me, bad for you. <laughs> okay, so... Vancha kalpaturu bhascha krupa sindhu be evacha patitanam pahavane bhyo vaishnavibhyo namo namaha anandakuti vaishnavibhindi ki jai.